get the best performance from your dryer suit, it's critical that you maintain it properly. Proper maintenance and field repairs are simple. Following a dive under conditions where the water is not contaminated, it is still important to rinse your dry suit with clean, fresh water at the end of each diving day. Rinse the zipper well. It is one of the most expensive parts of your suit. Periodically, you'll want to clean the teeth of your zipper using a toothbrush and soapy water. Flush the exhaust valve with clean, fresh water, turning the head of the valve as you run water through it. Check the inside of your suit to see if it is damp from perspiration. Rinse the inside of your dry suit if the inside of your suit becomes wet. Wrist seals should be washed with a mild solution of soapy water to remove body oils that will cause seals to deteriorate. Once you've finished rinsing your suit, hang it up to dry in a cool, dry location out of the sun. Turn the suit inside out if you have rinsed the inside of it and allow it to dry completely. Once your suit is dry, lubricate the zipper on your dry suit with the manufacturer's recommended lubricant. Do not use silicone spray. Your suit should be rolled up for storage. Lay the suit out on its back with the zipper open. Turn the boots in towards each other and roll the suit up. Fold the arms of the suit over the body. Store the suit in a bag in a cool, dry place away from hot water heaters and electric motors. It's easy to perform basic field repairs on a vulcanized rubber dry suit. Locate the area that needs to be repaired. The surface of the suit must be dry for repair. Select the appropriate size suit repair patch. With a pen, Trace the outline of the patch to be applied to your suit on the area of the damage. Use the sandpaper in your repair kit to roughen the chute surface. Apply a thin coat of Viking suit repair cement to the section to be repaired. Wait for three to five minutes. Remove the foil from the back of the patch. Apply a thin coat of Viking suit repair cement. Wait for three to five minutes. Apply the patch to the suit and rub it down with your fingers or a roller. Wait for five minutes, remove the cellophane, apply talcum powder to the patch to neutralize any excess cement. If your wrist seals are installed with the Viking coverings, they can easily be replaced. First, separate the coverings by pushing the inner ring back into the sleeve. Next, remove the damaged wrist seal. The beveled end of the inner ring is inserted in the sleeve first. The beveled end locks into position at the widest end of the outer rubber ring. Install a new wrist seal and push the inner ring back into position so at least one inch of the wrist seal is firmly trapped between the inner and outer ring. Here is a cutaway drawing of the assembled cufferings and wrist seal. To replace a neck seal when you're using the neck ring system, you'll need to remove the old one first. The new neck seal slides over the inner ring. The next seal and ring are installed in the outer ring mounted on the suit. Make sure the ring is evenly seated all the way around. Install the hood over the outer ring. Use the large black rubber o-rings to hold the hood in position. With proper care, your dry suit should provide you with excellent service.